Greetings, I the War Al greets you. I know I showed a graph showing the history of Battle Royales, but there's one game that's been in development for the past four years. The original Battle Royale experience that everything is based upon. It has finally been released to the public and I am incredibly pleased to announce the release of this game. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in any competent battle royale game, you start on a nice big island map in a floating plane, uh, bus, or I guess the cluster trucks from cluster truck, and then you decide where you want to go. Let's go into industry, and uh, oh, there it is, and away we go. <laughs> Oh, that's so good. It was like friggin' Zoidberg getting launched out of a cannon. And then, oh, boom, just ragdolling onto the ground. Totally Accurate Battlegrounds was originally conceived as an April Fool's Day joke to mock the oversaturation of the battle royale genre and the ridiculous lawsuits and was built in the span of one month. But it took them an extra few months to get the servers working. And then they didn't work. Movement and shooting is entirely physics based, so you have intentionally wonky controls. The quap of FPS. It's incredibly difficult to aim properly, as any slight movement will cause your character to jiggle around uncontrollably. And sometimes when you press a button, it just doesn't. Where did he come from? I have only one recourse. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, banana man! Get <laughs> ragged, noob! Did I run him over? What is happening? Uh oh. Alright, alright, alright. I'll do another swipe. I'll do another swipe. Did I get him? Uh, what? You can't kill him? This way? Oh, come on. Totally Accurate Battlegrounds is objectively a bad game. The mechanics are worse than Call of Duty, the art style is a dumpster fire without the fire to keep it interesting, and the netcode makes Escape from Tarkov look competent. But it's strangely fun. Some of the most entertaining gaming experiences from my youth have been when the game breaks, when the thin facade of immersion is broken by the disparity between verisimilitude and the actual experience. What I'm trying to say is, when I launched Fallout New Vegas for the first time and a guy's head was spinning around all crazy like while he delivered deadpan exposition, I laughed my ass off. I was expecting Fallout, but I got Silent Hill. Games like Totally Accurate Battlegrounds attempt to deliberately capture this experience. Does it work? Yes, for about 30 minutes. Then you just want to play an actual good game. The fact that this game has continued development makes it an amusing but bad joke that has gone way too far. Uh, I believe this is a good time to talk about the Battle Royale genre. I've been seeing a lot of negativity towards Battle Royale, especially from people in audiences like mine just because of how it's the current trend. And you know, the previous trend was team shooters like Overwatch, which clearly won that battle. Now we got everybody trying to do Battle Royale because of the huge craze started by PUBG and uh, Fortnite. So every, anytime a new Battle Royale comes out, everybody throws up their hands like, whoa, this is horrible. And I love this game making fun of the genre, but <sighs> I really like Battle Royale. I've always liked the game mode personally. And just because it's popular doesn't mean we have to hate it. Wait, why can't we just be happy they're making games that we like? Um, I've always enjoyed like very hardcore, difficult games that cause stress. Game developers these days, they try to make really easy stuff to not stress out their audience, to not make them have to think about anything or worry. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And I for one am really glad that they're making experiences like this 
kind of like games for us, and that's the current trend. In a biting commentary of the many copyright lawsuits where PUBG claimed ownership of the concept of a pan as a melee weapon, there is no pan in this game, only a shallow pot with a long handle. This alone made me fall in love with these developers. Slided here. <laughs> oh, I love how it's physics based and you can just like, if you can get the guy. Oh, I might be trapped in here. Uh oh. Ah, no, I gooped him out. I gooped him out. Oh, that guy's got a gun already. Oh, here we go. Can't get it to shoot where I want it to. This game is so bad. I'm excited this time. I got the P90, which is my favorite real life weapon. I hate it in Counter Strike. Then we got the Scar H. I got a level four helmet, level three armor. I've got a rapist wit. Uh, I'm good to go, man. The button presses in this game are random. So if I want to open the map and close the map, sometimes it just doesn't do it. If I want to switch my items, sometimes it decides, you know what, I'm not going to switch my items. You have to, oop, there's a guy. You have to click it multiple times. Which is quite ridiculous. Again, this game's not supposed to be good. It's supposed to be bad. It's a joke. A joke that went too far. There's riot shields in this game. Oh, hello. Why do I have no rounds? Oh, no! I would have killed him, too. Hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> Alright, we gotta go. Oh my gosh, look at all that ammo. Oh, we're in the zone, we're in the zone. Where'd my two times scope go? Why does this keep happening? Let's put a red dead on our P90. Hello. Oh, that's it. That's a 1v1. Me and that guy. All right, let's do this thing. What the hell is this game?
Ooh! <laughs> Woo! Yeah, feels good, man. I, you know what? This victory, uh, victory. Thank you very much for watching. I am the War Owl, and I still have no closer. Penis.